I thought Perry Street got it worse. Whoa. It's like a direct hit. That's really sad. Plus, we're supposed to get a lot of rain this evening. The humidity isn't too bad. But... Yeah, the, they pretty much got a direct hit. I'll go around. Yeah, we can go through here. Huh. There we go. Huh. Now we're safe. Looks like part of the, uh, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Looks like they're pulling stuff out of the trash. Yeah. Man, you could bungee jump off that thing if it were just a little taller. Quite an operation. They were very polite, you know, got to stay out of their way, so. Just got to move on. Can't even get the whole thing in one frame. I don't think they'll be working on it tonight when it rains or if there's lightning. I really don't. Funny enough, these houses got, well, they got some bad roof damage, but I mean, other than that, they're okay. And the McMahon Law Group has cleaned up pretty good. Just a day ago, there was trees all over the place, but they got quite a bit of roof damage, but they're lawyers, so I don't think anybody feels guilty about them. Still got a lot of debris. Huh. Watching out for roofing nails. And I didn't think the back building was damaged, but they got a big, huge fracture right there. So all that is going to have to probably be repaired, obviously. Well, that's amazing that wind does all that. We got a lot of tree work. 
There was a lot of branches on that tree before Monday afternoon. <laughs> Guess they're gonna chop down the whole tree. But look at all that. I mean, it's almost like the tornado if it, if it was over the church for more than a few seconds longer. It, the entire roof in the back would have just came up and would have been laying on the road. It's incredible. And there is a severe thunderstorm out there right now. Uh, National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm alert, but I think it's going to hit Utica. And right now at this time, about, what is that, 4 p.m., uh, a lot of the thunderstorms and rain are evaporating before it gets to Rome. But when the sun sets, that'll be a different story. And... Uh, we're expecting a little bit of rain showers on Tuesday, but not much. Most of it's going to come tonight. Look at all that debris. And a lot of the, the uh, stuff clogging, uh, plastering the buildings right now is this stuff right here. It, it's the insulation. That's what you see all over the buildings and all over the windows. It's just flakes of insulation. Couldn't figure out what it was before, but that's what it is. Huh. All that stained glass. <laughs> Some of the stained glass on St. Mary's is intact. Like I said, it'd be good to... Uh, uh, you know, recover it. It's a lot of money right there, stained glass. But, yeah, as you can see, this uh, when the tornado came through, why don't tornadoes have names? Hello? Don't you think big tornadoes like hurricanes should have names? I know this wasn't a big tornado, but it was a historic tornado. We should give it a name. Let's call it the Copper City Tornado. <laughs> we'll just refer to it as the Copper Twister. But that entire roof up there, right up to about there, was just ripped off. <laughs> yeah, there is no roof up there right now. And the old City Hall building on North James Street has been damaged. It's got roof damage. Thankfully, the steeple was pretty solid. And St. Peter's Church sustained very, very little or no damage. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, dog, that's the end. And, uh, unfortunately and sadly, their building got hit. Uh, really hard. As you can see. Uh, they sustained a lot of roof damage. And just look at the way the wind tried to pick that whole roof right off. I mean, if the tornado just stayed over these buildings for like a few more seconds, wow, they would have been leveled. But this was actually a fast moving tornado. Like I said, uh, when it was moving uh, past uh, Black River Boulevard, it only lasted like 20 seconds and it was done. But for that 20 seconds, it felt a lot longer. But Within 20 seconds, it was just over with. 
but yeah, they got a lot of roofing damage. One thing's for sure, the dumpster businesses are really making a fortune this year. They're the fire chief. Fire chief. Fire Got chief. the cranes here. I cannot remember what company it is, but I'll check it out in a second. Surprisingly, the Rome Police Station didn't receive much damage. Their antenna got a little bent. And I think I found the light beacon to that antenna way down in Stanwix Park. Yes, I returned it to the police. <laughs> it was just a like a 30 pound LED light. That whipped right up. Look how the wind just plastered everything. Incredible. There goes the boss. The boss. Boy, it just plastered everything. Got the cleanup crew. Look at all that. There's the clocks. Have one clock. Two clocks. That's from the cranes removing them, I believe. Or it was inside the church. I think this is the debris that was in the church. I want to climb it. I seriously want to climb it. Imagine the view of the city you would get. Incredible. But they're going to tear it down to that white line right there. And then they got to remove everything from the inside of the church. And then they'll, I but believe. As you can see, as you can see, they got quite a bit of roof damage. A lot of comments are stating, uh, Wow, enough two tornado went through Rome and the buildings are still standing and there's no roof damage. Well, you know, come down here and take a look at the city for yourself because watching 10 seconds of video and just reading the title of a video really does no good. You gotta watch it from beginning to end and actually listen and watch. But yeah, that building got hit very hard. All these here got hit good too. Uh, minor roof damage. And they're already open, but I'm not sure if their coolers are full yet. Uh, they had to throw out all their perishable stuff. Uh, kind of hurt and I haven't had a glass of milk in like five days.
but yeah that building they really got a direct hit big huge hole in the walls roofs just collapsed in roofs got ripped off sad and they're right next to as i said owl wire and cable which also received damage and the street it's on madison street really got hit hard very hard